healthy food that tastes so good. I like to eat good food. What you say now? I like to eat good food. I like to eat good food. Hello and welcome to another episode of Creative Cooking with the Home Sisters. I'm Taisha. And I'm Jan. And I'm Kimberly. And we're so happy that you could join us today as we talk about the wondrous, creative, wonderful, bountiful food that God has given us to eat. So today we have for you tuna wraps and tuna stuffed avocado. Mm, so first we're good. going to begin with our tuna wraps. The ingredients are, Jan. One can, 15 ounce chickpeas, rinsed and drained. One stalk of celery. Two tablespoons of matchstick carrots. One tablespoon of onion powder. One half teaspoon of sea salt one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons cilantro chopped, three tablespoons of soy mayo, one fourth cup of chopped red peppers, one spelt flour tortilla or whole wheat flour tortilla. That sounds really Delicious. good. Delicious. Yes. And although it requires all these ingredients you see here, it's one simple whiz in the food processor. Okay, food so processing. quick and easy. So Kim, just open that up for us and we'll get started. So basically, we're gonna start with our garbanzo beans and it really doesn't matter what you start with because everything is kind of, it kind of goes in together. So we're gonna place the garbanzo beans and garbanzo beans are such a wonderful, versatile bean that we have, that we eat. Usually, we're just gonna put everything in the blender, Kim, just everything in the food processor, all right? So basically, usually people are eating garbanzo beans in their salads or they're using it just, you know, kind of roasted or raw. But today we have decided to take the garbanzo beans and we're going to whiz them up and make mm. two no. Okay. And the secret ingredient that gives it that kind of fishy flavor is the lemon juice. We're gonna, so we're going to put everything. We're going to even put our carrots. Okay. We're going to put our carrots and then we're going to place our... Onion and garbanzo powder. beans are also called chickpeas. <laughs> that's right. So that's another name. That's right. Another beans. name for garbanzo beans are chickpeas. So Kim, let's whiz that up. Give it a nice little spin there. And I see the color, the nice red pepper popping with color. That works very well. There you go. All right, All right. whiz away. Okay. All right, so that was quick and easy, right? I just want you to kind of take a look at that. We're gonna kind of lean it in. Now, some people may want it, you know, it's a little smoother or kind of choppy, but I like mine's a little smoother. So you'll just take your spatula and you kind of go around a little bit so that everything is kind of whizzed up in there. And then we're gonna pulse it at this point. So we're gonna place the topper back on. There we go, Kim. And then we're gonna pulse right now. We're gonna... Again. I'm a little bit more. One more time, kind of smooth it around in there, and then we're gonna give it one more pulse whiz, and then it's we're nice ready. And creamy. So while Kimberly is gonna pulse it for you, Jan is gonna take our spelt flour okay. tortilla, and she's gonna turn the, the uh, pan on, nice and low. Okay. Okay, because we want it to be nice and warm and pliable, and then Kim is gonna give it a nice whiz again. That's great, that's great. So while our spelt tortilla is going, we're gonna get this and we're gonna put it right into the bowl. We have a bowl right here and we'll just pour it all in the bowl. Pop it off, there we go. All right, just pour it all in the bowl. All right. So spelt, spelt flour actually, or spelt is a wonderful whole grain flour that can be used in the place of whole wheat flour. People who are, uh, gluten have a glu yeah, gluten allergen, spelt is a wonderful, it has like a nice, soft, nutty flavor. It's a great alternative to wheat. Um, I like to use it to make biscuits. Um, uh, you make spelt bread. I love spelt bread, actually. Um, and it's, it's much lighter than whole wheat, but it's rich in your, 
your magnesiums, is rich in potassium. It's, it's just a great grain that you, we can use. How's our, how's our tortilla coming, Jan? Is it nice and warm? Nice and warm. All right, so now we're going to place it okay. on our board here. And we're going to just fold in our vegan mayo, which is veginase, three tablespoons of the veginase. Fold that in. And then we're going to just mix it up with our mixture. It's very colorful. So it's usually when you have wraps, sometimes, you know, you like uh, some type of uh, drizzle with it or some type of um, sauce. You know, you can use, this becomes very creamy as a sauce. Jan, can you please spray the pan, please? Okay. And put the fire on the low. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of our mixture right into the center of our spelt flour. Tortilla. All right. So you can put, make it as, you know, you can put, just put a little more in there. All right, there we go. So you just kind of fold in the sides. All right. Something's peeping out at me. Mm-hmm. That's a nice you tuck. You kind of fold it yeah. in, tuck it in, and there you have it. Okay. And we're gonna take that and we're just gonna put it right in our preheated pan. And then we're gonna let that crisp up All right. on Let's both sides. The, high. the thing I love about making this tuna, it's so versatile. You know, it's, it makes us a great snack any time of the day. You can eat it with tortilla chips, pita chips, you can just put it on toasted bread, and you can put it inside your wrap, or you can just eat it alone. But it's so delicious, it's so nutritious, and it's such a creative way to take one of God's amazing beans, garbanzo, long gone are the days of garbanzo bean just being a, sa a salad topper. You know, <laughs> we're taking it to the next step. Right, guys? That's yes, right. right. All right, all and right. And it's very simple, and it's very quick and easy, and it will even make, it's a good snack for the kids for their lunch. You know, you just pack it up with some right. carrots or celery, and they just use it as a, as a dip. Really, really nutritious. You can also you know? take the garbanzo fun. bean and roast it. Oh, that's, it's delicious when you roast yeah. it and put yeah. some toppings on it. It's and there's so many different ways when you roast it, you know, with the different fresh herbs and seasonings. We could turn the fire up a little bit. Okay. You can roast garbanzo beans with rosemary, uh, basil, fresh thyme. I'm a big roaster. Anything that's nice and quick, you know, you throw it in the, in the bowl, mix it up with some fresh herbs and spices, put it in the pan, roast it. It's all good. <laughs> all right. And I hear it sizzling over all here. Right. So, so it's starting, now to, starting heat up. to sizzle. All right. Heat and up nicely. It's, it's something that you, it only takes 10 minutes to do. So why don't we start the second recipe and then by then this all should right. be nice and crisp. Great idea, up Jan. Great so I'll pass idea. You the second, the garbanzos. We're making this all over again. All right. So basically, the second recipe calls for. Kimberly, can you read that for us? Let's review our recipe. One can, 15 ounce of chickpeas, rinsed and drained. One stock of celery, two tablespoons of matchstick carrot, one tablespoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons of cilantro chopped, three tablespoons of soy mayo, one-fourth cup of chopped red peppers, one spelt flour tortilla, or a whole wheat flour tortilla. Two to three halves avocados, cilantro garnish. All right, All right. so let's grab the avocados, Jan, and okay. we'll make the Number recipe. Two right here. Again, otra vez, as mother would say. <laughs> all right, so just pour it all in the... One more time, otra vez. All right. And it's so funny, I just got back from Costa Rica oh. not too long ago. Uh-huh. And I think we ate avocados every, every day. day. That's every day. Every day. Avocados, things we take for granted, you know, they just have it right on their tree oh, and I right in it. their home. And I just joined right in and would just grab an avocado for breakfast, <laughs> oh, yeah. for lunch, lunch and, and for dinner. dinner. <laughs> that oh, sounds yeah. great. And the avocados is such a wonderful food packed with so much yes. magnesium and potassium. It, it just has so many, it's such a great fat. And an alternative, you just open it up. And a, a nice food fact about avocado, if, if you can just uh, zone in on it is, 
it resembles the womb. Mm -hmm. Okay? And studies have found that avocados is such a great food that provides so many, much nourishment for mom and the baby That's in the right. womb. So That's can right. you imagine how awesome God is that He's he even so makes awesome. food that, yes. that resembles body That's right. and it aids the body function. Yeah. You know, it's simple such a food. Simple food. Simple, healthy and food. Beautifully and yes. wonderfully made. Fairfully and wonderfully God. made. Jan, can you pass me that bowl, please? So once you take out the seed of the avocado. I remember growing up, we ate avocado, as, as we said before, our mother is from Guatemala, okay? Tierra Linda, <laughs> beautiful country. And uh, avocados eaten every day, like Jan said, when you go mm -hmm. to the islands, you, you just grab it off the tree. We pretty much grew up, grew up eating avocados pretty mm -hmm. much every day. And so we'd have the avocado seed that Jan just uh, threw away or threw to the side. <laughs> to the side. And they would be around the house in little plants. You guys remember That's that? Right. Our mom would like sprout That's the right. avocado seed. Cover it up in some dirt and to then To this see day, I, I quite don't remember what it was for, but you would I don't see know. We could have a fucking avocado all over the, the place. place. I don't know, but. Maybe she was just reminiscing of I days guess. of old at home. And maybe she was you know, hoping a, a <laughs> But anyhow, you just take a fork and you smash down on the pulp of the avocado. And like, then, like, looks like we're making guacamole on the Yeah. <laughs> and it's such a versatile food. You can use it as butter on your bread. You can make uh, guacamole, as Kim said. That's right. Throw you know, with your chips or or tomatoes. So, and Spice people even it up. make smoothies. You That's know, there's right. avocado sure. smoothies. That's right. Avocado smoothies. Okay. Also, they make mousse. Mm. All right. So, you can have just like two tablespoons of your mixture, the tuna mixture, with the mm. avocado. And then we need the shell for the avocado okay. that we just scooped out. All right. And what we're gonna do, let's add just a little more. You know, keep it, you know, you play with it, do it, you know, to your liking. But it's just another way, we're trying to show you creative ways of cooking God's great, amazing, really wonderful good. food. All right? So since we're already using this mixture here, we right. need to add that, all okay. right? So we're just yeah. going to take that and we're gonna Restuff the, the avocado, avocado shell. Stuffed potato. Yeah, like a like a you know you take the potato and you what do you call it? Double stuffed potatoes. Double stuffed potato. You can do it with the sweet potato or the. But Baked we're potato. stuffing avocados. Mm -hmm. Look at that! Doesn't that look mm -hmm. amazing? And where's our good. cilantro, it looks Jan? Delicious. Delicious. Top it with Jan, how, how's our wrap yeah, going over it. there? Is our oh, wrap doing all right? Let Let's me check, check on, on our wrap over there. Here's the cilantro. Get that nice. You take that and then you take a little cilantro and just give it a little wrap. Garnish, just drizzle it. Oh, right the on wrap looks garnish. nice and crispy. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Oh, wow, that looks good. We'll That's turn great. that off. All right. So then we'll take mm, our wrap out. That and wrap we'll is ready. Put it right next to the avocado here. Okay. We'll get that out the way. All right, it smells great. You want to cut it in half? All right, so we're going to take the wrap, and then you get a nice sharp knife, <laughs> and you kind of cut into it. Ooh, at an angle. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Straight on down. And then you have your two no in the middle. Mm. Isn't that look great? And look that at the great. wonderful Color. colors. Wow. I love colors. colors. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. The red peppers and Ooh, the it smells so good. I just want to eat it. Okay, Kim, let me just cut you a piece here. Okay. I can eat the half. Oh. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> I'll just eat the whole thing. Why not? <laughs> here you go. Thank you. All right. But this, like we said, it makes for a great lunch uh, for your kids. Great, or a great appetizer as well. or anything. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. try it. All right, so we're going to nice try this wrap. Oh, it's nice. This is a warm wrap. All right. Mm, let's try Ooh. it together. Mmm. 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 That's delicious. Mmm. Very mm -hmm. good. That is really good. And it's nice and warm, but you can eat it cold or warm, however you like it. So we have this tuna in a wrap. Then we had the tuna also, we, well, we added some avocado to it, but then we also put it back as a stuffed avocado. And here we have some pita crackers, and we can just eat just the that. tuna with some pita bread. Yeah. Dip it in avocado. Mm. Dip it in the we have some blue corn organic tortilla chips. Makes a nice little dip, you know, versus right, salsa. Another way to eat, instead of salsa, just use some tuna. Very good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Another God's great food, food fact, you know. Amazing. It yes. sure is. Mm. Another great food fact I like to talk about is the celery, right? The celery, such a wonderful food. And, you know, a lot of people take celeries and we dip them in dips or we make smoothies. But a wonderful, great fact 
that I found out the studies have shown, our celery, our bones actually, we have two long bones in our arms, our forearm, called the Seven. ulna and the, the radius, okay? And the celery kind of resemble those bones. Look at that. And studies have shown that the celery is, you know, it's sodium, like That's a natural right. sodium. That's, yes. Our bones contain 23% sodium, and so does the celery. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that, that amazing? Is can you amazing. imagine? Plan one First we went from wow. the, the avocado in the womb you. that mm -hmm. resembles the womb, and it's a womb food. And then now you get the celery, celery. kind of looking like, like the arm bone there. Yeah. You know? Like the arm bone. With the, with the fingers, like the oh, little fingers. Uh, right. Open up your fingers. Right. The fingers kind of going out there. And it's such a great food, you know? And it also works as a great diuretic for people who suffer from uh, water retention. Mm -hmm. Celery is an excellent, it, it takes natural water out of your body. So you drink celery, it's also it'll help. So you would just juice the it and like so, right, right. So you juice celery juice if you're retaining fluid and it, it, it's a natural way to, to get rid of uh, fluid in your body. So, fluid, yeah. so this, we've just prepared all this wonderful food, showed you just these great creative ways to eat this amazing food that God has prepared for us. And now that we've eaten it, it's we're going to, to juice it. it. Now that we've eaten it, we are now going to juice, juice it. it. We are going to share with you today our anti-flu, anti-cold smoothie. Taisha, read the ingredients for us. Apple juice, lemon, grapefruit, ginger, one cold garlic, and dates to sweeten. Oh, that sounds really, really potent. Really yeah. potent. <laughs> Starting potent. with the garlic, because yes. garlic is really, really potent. strong. Potent. But garlic is really good for our bodies, and we know that garlic is very good in preventing colds, yes. and it can help you during the flu season, and it's a very good way to just prevent infections. Yeah. So this little piece of garlic right here has so much power. Yeah. Now, if you take a bite of it, Ooh. be careful. Don't go and say hi to anyone up close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the recipe going. We have some ginger. Let's put the ginger in. Yeah, ginger is pretty good also. Ginger helps with digestion and nausea. Nausea. When I was pregnant with my son, I remember I drank ginger tea every day because throughout the day, I was very nauseous, but ginger is very soothing and it helped very much. Mm -hmm. So ginger is really good. And we also have a lemon. Wow, lemon is very powerful also. This drink, woo. Yeah, this is a pungent, potent drink. It's gonna karate chop that coal right it out of your system. Because with karate ginger chop and that cool and garlic, garlic. right away. Okay, and we have All a right. grapefruit. All right. Grapefruit is also very good and Ty is gonna peel it for us. And if you notice that as she peels the grapefruit, we like to leave on a lot of the white part because that also has a lot of good vitamins in, in, in the white part. So we don't take off, we don't peel it too deep. The we peel it very, very lightly. Yes, because in the white part, it contains something called flavonoids, and it's great for the body and the food. So if you don't want to eat the skin, I remember growing up with another uh, memory. Flashback memory. <laughs> We'd have... Grapefruit peels That's right, or orange and peels. orange peels All around the, the kitchen. All they were drying. The also, our grandmother's kitchen, our mom's, right. our mom's that's mom. Right. So that's another thing. And if my mom ever made something that was that had like a very, I don't know, some type of smell, or that's if right. she burned she, something, yep, she she, all she would them. do is she would take the garlic rind or the um, grapefruit rind that was dried. Okay. And she would hang it, That's right. like, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She'd put it on the fire and burn it. And it would just dissipate the yes. smell. So it's amazing how, you know, in different countries and cultures, they use different, different things. Different techniques. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, we open up the windows, you know. That's but right. She would really take it, and it worked. It worked. So it's really, it really, really times. amazing. And we're going to add our apple juice. Now, this is something that we use at home with our own families. And dates. And <laughs> they drink it every morning. Every morning. And it can be a, an adjustment, but once you get over the taste, it's a great tonic. Especially in the winter. Yeah, especially during cold and flu season. We'll throw in the garlic. But we'll like other than that, it's just everything but the garlic. But yes. Okay. The garlic good. is a natural antibiotic. That's right. Very strong. Okay, we'll start that up.
Okay, so we just want to make sure that we let that run because I don't know if you noticed, but we had the seeds. We have the skin. As well as the skin. So we just want to make sure that that's nicely blended up. And if you do, if you do put, uh, put the uh, skin, leave the skin on when you make the juice, you just want to make sure you wash the skin That's of the right. lemon yes. and that it's yes. an organic lemon. Yes. All right, so basically it's just one whole lemon, organic, peeled, you know, just the two edges peeled off and then the whole skin, just one grapefruit. You just kind of rind the grapefruit, peel it off and just leave the white, which is the flavonoid, mm -hmm. which is great for the body. One whole garlic clove, the That's garlic right. clove. That's that, very um, important. Wonderful thing that we call garlic. And we love to eat our garlic. And when we eat the garlic, we say, hello, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so, it's so funny because, like she said, this is a basic smoothie that we make every morning. But Kim is the one, 20, what is it, 365 days of the year, hers contains garlic. That's right, so at all times. She, yeah, and Kim it keeps me healthy, immune boost, and strong. Here's okay. a joke for you. <laughs> I gave her son a smoothie one morning. He slept at my house, and it was the funniest thing. He said, Auntie... It's missing garlic. <laughs> Why are you asking for the garlic? Oh, wow. So I tell you, her kids are really on it. I tell you, never, it's a no wonderful calls, thing. No so incident. let's try the tonic, so let's ladies. Try it. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. And notice, notice we have shot glasses this That's time right. because it's nice and pungent. So a, a little shot goes a long way. A little shot. <laughs> All okay, right, here, here we go. We go. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> the ginger is still. Woo. But mm, can you talk? It's good. Talk that way, please. Ooh. It's good. <laughs> we need some parsley to kind of. Ooh. <laughs> so actually, that, that's true, Jan. Why don't you share with our viewers? That's we right. need some parsley. If you decide to eat, like if I do this with the garlic, especially during cold and flu season, I'll do it at night. Kim, like I said, she does it in the morning. And then we But she'll follow it ourselves. up with parsley. That's so right. fresh parsley will mask and take away the scent yes. of garlic because we don't want to be offensive. We That's right. Be very polite. And then we also have your one cup of apple juice. That's right. Yes. yes. The apple and juice if you want to sweeten one. about four dates, yeah, about four to five dates. Yes. But, but this is a wonderful, pungent, tonic yes. that this will just karate chop winner. the cold right. and the flu right out of the building. That's right. <laughs> Good health every day. Drink this. All You're right. Your way. So now that we've eaten it, <laughs> We, we juice, juice it. it. It is now time, time to, to wear it. <laughs> Eat it, juice it, and now we are going to wear it. Wear it. This is our model, Taisha, for today. And we are going to wear a great facial avocado honey mask. Let's review the recipe. One avocado one tablespoon of honey. That's all. That's it? That's all. Jeez. Are you ready to get messy? Oh, well, I guess. Okay, let's put, let's put this wrap. I look like an avocado in all okay. this green. I don't <laughs> know. Okay, fine. <laughs> I know that you eat avocado, but how many know that you can actually wear it? What does that mean? Let's see. So, the avocado makes a great facial mask. Mm-hmm. Our skin loves to be fed, too. That's right. And it creates a beautiful palette when it's fed properly. Our skin loves the vitamin A, B, E, D, and K. And guess what? It creates a perfect synergy, girls, to prevent anti-aging. Oh, well, you to guys have to worry about oh, that. On, because on, they're on. the older ones. Yes. No. <laughs> I don't have to worry about anti-aging. It keeps the wrinkles away. Hurry up. Hurry up with that avocado. So, okay. Dan, did you pour the honey? Let's, Just drizzle a little honey, honey in that avocado. Okay, because we have to make sure that my older sisters stay okay, looking Jen. young. You don't have to rub it oh, in. I'm okay. so sorry. <laughs> Okay. So we're mixing that to a very smooth consistency. Okay. How does that look? Let's put a little more honey. Not too much. And the much. honey is great. Remember, the honey is great. It's a great antibacterial just for the body. So any um, bacteria you have on your face or your skin, that honey we'll just pull it neutralizes out. it. That's okay. right. Okay. 
And that looks pretty good. And I guess the honey will help it to stick. Okay. Are you so ready? I am ready to, to look wrinkles. Like she's 25. Right. We'll see. <laughs> you know, I'm still 25, but uh, they're Ooh. a lot older than I am. So, so right, that's so right. Cheeks. They need this avocado mask. Ooh, 26, nice cool. 27. Okay. Ooh. Right behind. Puts on in the, just put it in the T-zone area okay. lightly. Right there. All right. And the honey and the avocado together creates a great moisturizer oh, okay. for the skin. <laughs> it's a great moisturizing agent. Ooh. Okay. It smells if, delicious. If so, it gets in your mouth, it's okay. 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 It's God's food. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, just look at here. You want to taste that shit? <laughs> no, I'm tasting it. So Ooh, you will keep this on your face for 15 to 20 minutes. And when it dries, you'll, you'll feel the tightening of your skin. The honey yeah, tightens your skin as, the, as they both moisturize your skin together. Okay. Then you'll rinse it off with lukewarm water. After and how many minutes? Did you say how many minutes? 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20, okay. Now, you, you can keep it longer, keep it on longer than 15 to 20 minutes if you have that leisure time. But the minimum is that. After we'll wash it off, and unfortunately, we can't wash it off right now, Taisha. But you at home, you'll wash it off, and Imagine then you'll feel how wonderful and beautiful your skin will look. So try this at home. But if you look closely, she's starting to look younger. The oh, wrinkles yeah. are going away. Look Ooh. closely. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's great. We've had well, such a wonderful time. We had times. such a great time today. Yes. I mean, we did so much with avocado today. I know. We had the tuna boat. We had the avocado stuffed uh, tuna. tuna. The tuna oh, that wrap. Was the tuna that was delicious. Wrap. Delicious. The oh, avocado wow. Mask. Get now the that. avocado mask. It's been we had great. that tonic juice. Yes. That was great. That grapefruit. So and until and next time. Tonic. Yes. We love to eat good food. It that tastes real so good. I like to eat good food. What to say now? I like to eat good food. I like to eat good food. Bye bye. Until so next time.